Hello and uh, welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Uh, today I've got um, another one from Sainsbury's for you, from their new Hide and Wild range. Um, I reviewed their IPA for you a couple of days ago and today I've got their Pale Ale. And here it is, the last one had a bear on it. This one has a lion on it. So quite distinctive artwork on the cans, you can't really miss them. Uh, this one is coming in at 4.7% ABV. Uh, yeah, so Hide and Wild Pale Ale, 4.7%, big line on it, really do like the artwork on this range that they've just bought out. Um, lots of information, uh, taste notes, pale and bitter yet interesting, sounds just like a Jane Austen heroine. Note, Mr Darcy's here though, just a deliciously fruity, hoppy and malty ale. Uh, barley malt, hops, galaxy, mosaic and citra. Um, again, they specify the hops used, which is good. Yeah, simple as 4.7% this one. Let's get this can out into a glass, see what we get. I really enjoyed their uh, IPA that I reviewed on my last one. Um, and they say they, these are all over Sainsbury shelves at the moment, and they do them in boxes as well. You can get like four packs of them, um, which is good. I mean, if their IPA was anything to go by, then this one should be good because I do like a pale ale there seems to be some really good pale ales on the market at the moment I will leave that there so we can see the wicked artwork really like that nice drawing of a lion there is the pale ale um, it's a very gold looking ale good solid one finger fluffy white head on that decent levels of carbonation you can see the bubbles roaring up the glass there Let's get an aroma. Oh, smells lovely. My word, that smells wonderful. Loads of fruit. Lots of grapefruit, lots of pineapple. Passion fruit, mango, orange. Smells delicious. It smells really, really good. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers, guys. Again, that's really complex. That's really complex. There's a lot going on in there. Really hoppy really fruity it's very similar to the IPA um, it's uh, it's got a very bitter finish like the IPA but I don't think that the bitterness lingers quite as long as it did on the IPA but it's a very sweet taste uh, when it first arrives on the palate Lots of grapefruit, orange juice, pineapple, nice, uh, nice sort of malt, nice malt taste coming straight in after that initial fruit. It's, um, and then you get the citra, what other hops are used, mosaic and galaxy hops as well. It's a hoppy affair this one, it's very hoppy. Once you get that initial fruit blast and that nice bit of maltiness in the middle, then comes the bitterness. There's a lot going on with this, it's decent. Mm. It's got a lovely smooth mouthfeel. Really drinks, very easily drinkable this one. Um, it's 4.7%. You are getting the slightest I've the slightest kind of alcohol kick at the back end of this one. I'll taste in the booze a bit on this. Um, but the hops are beautifully done. It's another really well-balanced beer, this from Sainsbury's. <laughs> um, who'd have thought it? It's it's really good. Um, so I'm glancing up at the TV here. I've got the football one. It's kind of on a knife edge, this one. We've got Spain playing Russia at the moment. Spain are kind of camped in Russia's half and... 
They look like they could score any minute, but Russia stick in everyone behind the ball. Anyway, back back to the beer. Really good pale ale, really well balanced, really good juice of hops, very fruity taste, good level of malt in the middle of it as well. It's a really well balanced beer, it covers all aspects of a good pale ale. It's got a really nice smooth, smooth mouthfeel, very drinkable, dangerously drinkable in fact. I could happily do a few of these, you know. Um, I think I honestly I'm really impressed with these beers, really impressed with them. And like I say they don't just sell them individually; they sell them in boxes as well. You can get packs of four of them, and um, they're really good. They're really good beers. I, I honestly I recommend it to everyone. Gets down to their local Sainsbury's and get some of these because they're really good. Surprisingly good, you know. Um, I've I've had uh, you know I've had beers from from supermarkets brewed exclusively from supermarkets before. I just haven't ticked the boxes, and this this is ticking the box. It really is. I mean this is as better than most pale ales I've had recently, to be honest with you, same as the uh, the IPA I had in the last one. Blinding IPA, this is a blinding pale ale, this is really good. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's uh, I don't know what else to say, you just you just don't expect it. It's, 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 a, it's a proper Sainsbury's beer, it's got all the Sainsbury's font with their writing all over the can and that, you know, it, it is a Sainsbury's beer. Um, but it is, it's just, it's just really good. It's really, really good. So, yeah, they're Hyde and Wild Pale Ale, 4.7% ABV. I scored the American Style IPA with the Grizzly Bear on it uh, pretty well. I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. Um, and to be honest with you, I, I want to give it just as good a score because it's, it's readily available. Um, it's um, affordable, you know, it's... Um, it's kind of at the same sort of price level as most of the craft beers in their in their section. Um, be nice to get some bigger cans or something, you know. Um, but yeah, at the moment they just do the three thirty mil cans. But it's very good. It's a very good beer um, that they're being produced here for Sainsbury's. So fair play to them. Um, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten again. It's a very impressive pale ale. Um, yeah, eight out of ten for Sainsbury's. Hide and Wild Pale Ale. Really decent beer, really enjoying it. Loads of fruit, loads of malt, loads of hops at the back end. Lovely aroma as you go up to take it. It really does linger. Loads of grapefruit, loads of pineapple, particularly in the taste. Nice to be set levels of citrus with the citrus hops. Nice bit of malt in the middle and that hoppiness does does linger for a little while but perhaps not quite as long as the ipa does but you would expect the ipa to be have a stronger hoppy hoppy note to it um this is really good this is really decent stuff eight out of ten for sainsbury's and hide and wild with their pale ale coming in at 4.7 percent abv um hope you like the video give it a thumbs up leave your comments below let me know what you're drinking and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys